Hi, hello. Hi. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can see you. Yeah. Great, great. I can hear you and I can see you too. Uh, who am I speaking to? Is your name Krishna? No, my name is Himansu Misra. Himansu oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. So you can you laughing earlier when I call you? Is someone pardon? Is someone near to you? Is somebody is near to me? Yes. I'm with my sister. Okay, okay. okay that's great. So, <laughs> where are you from? Yeah. My name is Jimansu Misra, where? and I'm from India. From where? I am from India, ma'am. Oh, from India. Okay, perfect. It's really nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Tanith, but uh, everybody calls me T. Uh, so T is my nickname. Yeah, and it's super easy. Uh, and um, I'm currently in my home country of South Africa. South Africa, okay. So are you are yeah. teacher or do you teach offline or online? Both. Um, I'm teaching on Cambly, like uh, sometimes maybe three hours a day. And then I have my um, own online uh, company where I have a learning institute. Okay. And uh, I teach, I teach um, other native English speakers to become TEFL teachers. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I have a YouTube channel. If uh, I so, I want your permission. If you grant me permit to post this lesson on YouTube, if you have no. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? I I I didn't really hear you. It's too soft. I have a YouTube channel, so I wanted to post this lesson on my YouTube channel. You have no problem. Um. All right, but what what are we gonna talk about? Uh, just nothing special. We will do just casual conversation. I would like to know All right. you uh, yeah, and your country and what is the situation in my country or COVID-19, something like this. Yeah. So. All right. We can chat about that. Yes. Yes. If you have no. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it is allowed. Um, uh, is Cambly okay with you doing that? I don't know if. Um... I want your permission. If you permit me, I, I, I think everything is okay. No <laughs> I just don't want. I just don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> okay, no, no problem. <gasps> All right. So, uh, you want to speak about uh, the Corona situation in my country? Yes, yes, yes. Um, All right. So, currently, I think we are. Um, I'll have to just get the stats exactly, but I think. Uh, let me just see if I can get the stats for you. Um, yes. But uh, my country went into lockdown on like the 26th of March. Um, and um, 22 or 21 in my country. 26. Oh, oh, 26? 21? Yes, in my country. Yeah, man, All right, in India. There's no proper lighting in your face. Can you... If you have another uh, light, so you can. If you have another light, so you can turn. Um, he's saying that the lighting is not good. Um, I'm gonna have to maybe then look at closing the curtains, but um, I don't have uh, the. It's uh, I don't have the lights on as such because it's uh, during the day here. Uh, but I'm gonna try. Is that yeah. better? Yeah. Better, right? All right, good, good. Um, so yeah. my country um, is... I want to be a dab hand in my English. So how can how can be a dab hand in my English? Dab hand. How can you improve your English? Yes, yes, yes. I mean to say. Okay. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, basically, what I can suggest is that you would need to practice your English um, every day. So, set aside some time every day, even if it's as much as well as little as thirty minutes that you know you set some time aside. Um, I would recommend that you uh, that you look at every day 
practicing, if it's reading, if it's um, watching English documentaries or English videos, uh, listening to um, any podcasts or uh, listening to anything on YouTube as well. And YouTube is a great uh, source of listening to different topics in English. Um, yeah, and then I've got some really, I've got some really awesome websites that you could visit that um, would assist you in reading, writing, listening, and speaking exercises. Yeah, you can give me. Uh, are you an early bird? Am I an early bird? Yes. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, uh, yeah, uh, I like to get up early and enjoy the day, but. Uh, sometimes on the weekend, it's nice to uh, it's nice to sleep in and uh, and catch up on some sleep. And yourself, uh, are you an early bird? Yes, I am. Good, good. And uh, what I, do you like to do in the morning? Yeah, I wake up. English person on that. Okay, this is the site where I can visit. Okay. Yeah, so I've just I've just e I've just sent you a message with a, a website. Um, but what I forgot to mention is that this website has also got really great um, a grammar, uh, a grammar section as well as practicing pronunciation and increase of vocabulary. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah, I will check it. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> check it out. It's really good. Um, so yeah, you were telling me. Yeah, I dedicated to myself to you know to be a uh, dev in a hand you know uh, to improve my english uh, but even i am not getting good result yeah so how can i improve? what are you actually i i don't have a speaking partner good speaking partner that's why i'm not okay uh, I, I, and what are you currently doing um how are you learning your english you obviously you're on this platform what else are you doing uh, nothing i have i have one friend and i just talk to him okay all right is he a native English speaker? No, I don't have. But no. I, that's why I take. I have taken subscription of family. So, so yeah, I yeah. Talk with the native speaker. Yeah, I and and I really um, suggest that you you put some time into this this platform onto Cambly uh, because you get to speak to many many tutors uh, from all around the world, and each tutor will. Uh, have a different a different um, lesson and want to discuss different things so you can increase your vocabulary uh, teachers can help you with sentence structure but uh, I I actually have on on hand I have different lessons so if somebody would like to discuss grammar or uh, parts of speech I have access to that and obviously I can put a lesson I can teach a lesson immediately so chat to chat to different tutors and get some different ideas from them. Yeah. So are you proficient in grammar? Pardon? Uh, are you proficient in grammar? Are you veteran in grammar? Uh, I'm a, a, a trained a TEFL and TESOL teacher, but I have put together lesson plans that can assist with grammar, uh, teaching of grammar and uh, sentence structure, parts of speech, you know, those different, yeah, different aspects. I am confused. In a reflexive pronoun, you know, have you had ever reflexive pronoun? No, could you repeat that? Reflexive pronoun, reflexive, reflex. Okay, yeah, can, can you tell me about it? Yeah, myself, himself, herself. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, 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 all right, okay. How can we use it in a sentence? Um, all right, but like I say, we can put, to, I can put together a lesson on that and, uh, uh, you know, then I we can discuss it. Yeah, yeah. But I also uh, I am very determined that I definitely I will learn and I I will never say that to English. Yeah. So um, obviously it's 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 very important if you are determined and uh, you you you've got a great confidence level that will obviously um, all aid in 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 getting your English level. Nice and high and up there. Um, are, are you working at the moment? No, not uh, actually. Everywhere is locked down. I also teach students. Oh. Yeah, okay. Teacher. Are you a teacher uh, in India, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right. I was going to ask you what, what do you do for a living? Um, so uh, you are a are you a teacher? Uh, 
currently in India? Yes, currently I am teacher right. in India. I teach English. And oh, okay. So I was going to say, why why are you wanting to improve your English? Is it for personal or for work? But obviously, it's for work, right? Because I think that I'm not good at I'm not good at English now. That's why I'm learning. Yeah, I want to I, oh. I want to improve my accent. Accent. All right. Okay. So uh, and and. Basically, if you, uh, it's very tough to remove an accent completely because um, you know uh, a person's mother tongue language will uh, influence their their accent on any additional language that they learn. Second language, third language, fourth language. It is it is a challenge. It's not it's not um, impossible, and it can be accomplished. Where you you can speak with an American accent or a British accent. Yeah, yeah it is doable. U.S. accent. You know, I love very much the U.S. accent. All oh, right, United States. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that comes that comes with time and practice. So you would need to practice um, uh, if you if you watch a lot of uh, docu series or things like um, people's uh, YouTube channels that have got an American accent, and you would need to just practice uh, practice that. But it takes time. But it is doable, and it is you can accomplish it. Yeah. Actually, it is not a piece of cake. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not a piece of cake. But uh, you seem very confident, and you seem very determined, and I think that is um, that is the most important. And uh, if you if you don't feel like you you, you shouldn't feel lost or yeah. No. I, I, am I confident or not? What do you think? You I think you're confident. You've just told me that you really want to learn and you're determined. So uh, I think your confidence level is is high. Yeah. Actually, most of the people they suggest me. I don't know who are. Yeah, they, they suggest me that you are not confident. Why you? Don't listen. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Listen to yourself. <laughs> listen to yourself. Don't listen to the people around you. Yeah. Um, I know for myself personally, learning um, additional languages, confidence is so 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 important because uh, if you lack confidence, you're not going to uh, you're not going to speak it every day. So uh, if you're confident, you can go out and and practice. Okay, which language yeah. you are learning? Uh, I'm learning Vietnamese. Sorry. Uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Okay. Yeah, because I lived uh, I lived in Vietnam for like a year and a half. Why do you want to learn Vietnamese? Uh, because I was living there, and uh, I I would like to move back uh, when when the travel ban has uh, has lifted. I'd like to go back, so it is very helpful to be able to speak Vietnamese when I'm living in Vietnam. Yeah. Is it easy to learn? No. <laughs> It's uh, it's very tough, yeah. It's uh, it's very tough because uh, the language is very tonal, so there's many tones that you have to learn, and uh, yeah, it's it's it. But it's a, it's fun to learn. It's fun to learn. But uh, the only way that I really got um, to a point where I was comfortable speaking it was I spoke it every day, and uh, every day I would learn a new word, so I would increase my vocabulary. And uh, yeah, and and speak to people that are speaking the language so that I could practice and they could help me and correct me when I made an error. Yeah. So can can you give me? Uh, can anybody give you a hand to learn uh, Vietnamese? No. Yeah. Well, not re not really here in my home country because nobody speaks the, that language here. So at the moment, I have to go and uh, look online. And watch YouTube videos on it, and uh, yeah, go on to different websites. Yeah, actually, I want, I just want to make a splash after posting this video on YouTube because this is the best conversation for me with you. Oh, great, great! It's been so wonderful to meet you. I, I hope that I could have helped, and I hope that that website will will assist you as well. I'm sure it will. Yeah, definitely. After after the end of this class, I will check it. Oh, great, great, and keep it keep it up, and your confidence level is really good. So I wish you all the best. Okay, thanks, thanks. <gasps> all right, and it was really great to meet you. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. and stay safe. Yes.